Hi there, Colin Lamb, aka The Tone Wizard here, and I would like to talk to you today about a little-known phenomenon that has occurred throughout the history of rock music. The phenomenon I am referring to is what occurs when a rock god achieves such glorious tone that they become involuntarily engorged. I'm talking about popping a toner. As long as there has been rock music, there have been stories of toners. Robert Johnson, Chuck Berry, Chet Atkins, toner, toner, toner. Jimi Hendrix, massive toners. A chick actually casted one of his toners into plaster. If you Google plaster casters, Jimi Hendrix, you can check it out. It's like one of Bigfoot's footprints. Jimmy Page would achieve such potent toners that Robert Plant would get a secondhand toner just by being so close to the tone. Look at that fucking toner! After recording Blood Sugar Sex Magic, guitarist John Fushanti had to quit playing guitar for several years so that his subsequent toner would subside. Yeah, 